Every plant parent has faced a tragic event of pests attacking their plants in their lifetime. But the question is how to get rid of pests in the most environmentally friendly way and without using toxic chemicals that you can buy in garden centers. And that is what am I going to talk about today. Hi and welcome to Greentopia. My name is Maya and I'm a plant addict. A couple of months ago I brought an infected plant without knowing that it's infected to my home from the office and unfortunately these pests started attacking other plants in my flat and all of a sudden before I knew it they were just kind of dying off one by one and I had no idea why. The leaves started to, be, to turn brown and then even darker and darker until they just died off and I thought maybe the soil mix is not sufficient, maybe it's the humidity because it's not humid enough and I just couldn't figure it out. I did a lot of research online, I tried a lot of things and nothing was working. Since I wasn't sure what exactly is going on and I was suspecting that it should be some kind of uh, pest but I couldn't see it, like physically I couldn't see it with my eyes. I just said okay I'm gonna do a little lighter method and I mixed soap dish with water and then I sprayed it. I also made a video about it, um, I will link it here so that you can check it out in case it would be useful for you, but in my case this was just not working. The plants seemed to be doing better for a few days but then again it started happening that the leaves were turning brownish and then they died off again. And at one point I finally noticed this tiny tiny little pest, little bugs and I was trying to recognize them and identify them but it was really hard because it was not spider mites, it was not mealybugs and those are the most common ones that the plant parents are mentioning but I was really desperate because it looked nothing like my pests. And then after a thorough research online I finally identified this little bugger and the name was Thrips. It's not very common, commonly mentioned so I was super happy that I finally identified it and that I could do something about it. These animals are super tiny and thus they are really hard to spot because before you know it the plant or the leaves start to die off and you have no idea what is going on. When they are babies they are these tiny little white dots and then when they are uh, adult they are a little bit darker but they also don't grow more than one millimeter at least in my case I think I read on the internet that there are more than 5,000 or even 6,000 species of trips recognized but in my case the size didn't ever exceed one millimeter so even when I was trying to make some shots to ask in Facebook groups with pl other plant parents it was just impossible because my camera couldn't capture the, the pest anyhow after identifying this little bugger I decided okay I need to step up my game and I need to find another method but I still didn't want to use any toxic chemicals so I came across neem oil method which I also want to share with you today. What we are going to do I'm gonna show you step by step how to make the mix but before we go into details I would just like to point out some things. Obviously if you paid attention in your class of chemistry in school you know that oil and water they don't mix very well together that's why in our mix we need to add a little bit of dish soap but be sure that you use the organic one. I usually buy my zero waste shop and I know that it's totally biodegradable so it's fine. I already used it in, in another mix that I mentioned before on my plants so I know that it's not harming them. And anyhow, it, without the dish soap it's gonna be really hard to make a sufficient or effective mix that would actually stay on the surface of the leaves and that's why we also are adding the soap. After you make the mix and after you apply the mix on, on your leaves, uh, make sure that you don't leave your plants on the sun because since it contains oil it can be the leaves can get sunburned which is not what you want obviously. I am now in this case talking about uh, indoor plants so it shouldn't be a problem but for gardeners I think you better find some other video which would explain and recommend a better method but I'm guessing in case you have some pests on your garden you should definitely do it on either cloudy day or after the sun goes down. Anyhow let's get back to our indoor plants. Make sure that when you spray the mixture on that you really thoroughly spray it on top, on underneath the leaves and also on the stems because what I noticed is that they can also hide in really hard to reach areas or spots so make sure that the mixture that you will apply on is dripping all over your plant. 
Also, one thing for people who have a little bit more sensitive skin, make sure that maybe you do the skin test before um, and then see if your skin is going to react, but also as a preventive measure you can just use uh, protective gloves. One thing I would also recommend is, in case you just have one infected plant, make sure to rather make a smaller amount of this mixture and maybe do it each time separately, because after a while oil and water are going to start separating each other and it's better if you just make it and then just shake it very well before applying it. If you have more infected plants then go ahead and do a larger batch of it and just make sure that you apply it on all the surfaces as I mentioned before, especially because what I notice is when you have one infected plants it's very easy that they will kind of get got spread on, on other plants so you want to make sure that you clean them thoroughly. It will also probably not happen that you will get rid of trips in one try. So just observe even after the first time when you will be applying, uh, let's say after a couple of days, make sure that you inspect it and then make sure in case you see some new trips growing that uh, you again apply the denim mix on it so that you are really, really fighting them until the next one. I'm gonna now show you the, the recipe, how to mix it, and then we're going to apply it on the plants. I have about 800 milliliters of water, and I'm gonna add just a drop of neem oil, because you really don't need that much. And then, as I mentioned before, we add a drop or two of the soap and then you can see right here that the oil obviously is not gonna mix with water that's why we need to make sure that we really mix it up and I would advise that you do this right just before you apply it to your pants so that you make sure that it's really well mixed Prepare yourself for the fact that neem oil doesn't really smell that good. So in case you are sensitive to smells, it stinks. Maybe you can even wear a face mask or something like that. But anyhow, I hope that this will help. I hope the video was useful for you and that you are gonna manage to save your plants. However, remember plant parents, be nice to yourself and to your plants. Have a nice day!